everybody. This is the to do conscious coffee. So it is so far past my coffee drinking time. Oh my goodness. Definitely no coffee going into my system at this hour. I just I just walked in the door and dealt with kids and stuff and I had been blowing and going since about seven this morning with clients from eleven to seven today. Hey evening Mary, evening Keisha. It has just been one of those days. So very, very long. So I'm gonna confess this in. I'm actually drinking. I'm actually drinking. Like I'm really drinking. It's just been one of those days. And I think that every every working girl should be able to have a cocktail every now and then. So I am drinking this yummy, yummy butter pecan um moonshine something or another. It's just simply to die for. And I thought before I go and I make coffee, I mean, before I go make coffee, before I go and do my conscious coffee, before I go and make, you know, dinner, before I do anything like that, I was like, I deserve, I deserve this little drink. And I wanted to touch base because I was like, I could just not live stream today. I could do that. I could not live stream. I could just chill. I could just chill the fuck out and I don't have, to, nobody's, nobody's on my butt to get this done. But I can tell you what. I wrote that article yesterday where I was talking about the gentleman who was confused on my program and all that kind of stuff and thought that I was giving away a whole coaching program one-on-one -on -one with me for under $200 and what value means and all that kind of stuff. And that led me into an evening. I went to one of, you'll never hardly hear me say about, about things, but I went to one of the worst concerts I've ever been to, and I did it to myself. I'm the one who got the tickets, and I I got these tickets because I got you know this discount that came through in my email, and it said, hey, we still got seats left. We're just trying to put bodies in seats, basically, right? And I went, you know, what else am I gonna do on a Thursday night? So I bought two tickets. It cost me eight dollars, eight dollars to go to this concert. I went downtown Dallas, you know, drove. Drove 45 minutes to go to this concert last night. Thank God the place has really good food. Because my uh, my date and I, my boyfriend, him and I, we, we sat down, we ate, we had a drink, we go to the concerts, and and it just was, and there he is, he's on, he's now online. He's going to listen to me bitch about the concert that I took us to. So, <laughs> we go into the concert, and I was just laughing, because I'm like, you know, this is just the value it's all about value you pay what you get for I mean you get what you pay for. you know if if the value is not there then the value is not there but when something is valuable then it probably is gonna cost more than eight dollars so this music I just realized I was just like this is so it was it was funny it was funny it was worth a, a good laugh and everything but there was multiple lessons that came <laughs> from this concert last night Number one, value. You pay, you, you get what you pay for. Number two was mimicking that there is this idea that we can mimic another and somehow have the same light, the same presence, the same, um, the same value, the same skill set, the same, you know, honoring, respect, all this kind of stuff. And as I stood there and I watched this woman sing Madonna songs because it was it was a Madonna concert and I was you know I'm not a big I used to be a big Madonna fan when I was a teenager I loved Madonna and in my early 20s I loved Madonna now I, I don't even know any of her I unless it's from that time I really like it's just be an outing right so we go and I just thought to myself why would I buy one of their albums when I could go to the real deal and buy that album. Like, why would I buy a, somebody that's mimicking of another's success, of another's talent, when I could just go to the one and get the real thing there, like get the good shit there? Like, why would I do that? And I realized that we do this in so many different areas of our life. And what is it caused from? It's, it's this caused from the fact that we believe that we're not enough. Number one, we believe we're not enough. And at the exact same time, show up as 
we are, who we are, that we're too much. Over and over and over again, I work with people, and this is one of the big, big statements of, I'm just too much, but I'm not enough. Or I'm not enough, but man, I'm too much. Like, I feel like I think just, just too much of me. To, people can't handle me. I'm too that, I'm too, 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 too. I'm not enough, I'm not enough, I'm not enough. And we have this massive, you know, variance that we feel about ourselves. And then what do we do? We mimic what we think success looks like. We mimic what we think happiness looks like. We mimic what we think confidence looks like. We mimic what we think, you know, sexy looks like, what we think, what we think smart looks like, what we think connection looks like, what we think whatever it is, whatever part of our life we are doing it in, but we end up mimicking these areas of our life. And then we sit back and we go, why am I not happy? Why am I not feeling seen? Why am I not feeling connected? Feeling loved? Why am I feeling so empty? And it's because you're not living in your own light. You're trying to live in another's light. You're trying to live in another's success and another's ideas and, and you know, and creative energy and versus just owning who the fuck you are and letting your beauty out because you're not too much. And if you are too much, then they're not your people, okay? They're just not your person. They're just not your people. And it's okay if you're too much to some people because you can't be everybody's somebody and you can't be everybody's tribe. You know, it's just, it's just the way it is. Like we have our people. We have those that we connect with. We have those that we align with that resonate with us in different ways. And then we have those that that no matter what we do, we can't do it right, no matter what we do, they're not going to like us. They're going to call us names. They're going to say things about us. They're going to judge us. They're going to criticize us. But what do we do? We go, I'm too much. I'm not enough. So I'm going to pretend to be this image that I see her or him being, and they have what I want. So they have what I go, and I'm going to act like them, and mimic them. I'm going to pretend to be like them. I'm going to pretend think like that, that I feel like that, that, you know, that I'm going to act at the best of my ability like them. And we can have small successes and we can have small connections and we can have a little bit of woo in our life. But at the end of the day, we are empty. We're true to ourselves. We're not being us. And the way to really be us and to be loved and have the connection and have the respect and, and to really let our light shine is to just not worry about being too much or not enough and should I be more like that person or should I be more like that person or what do you want from me? How would you like for me to be, you know, in my life in the way I talk and the way I'm seen in my actions, my thinking, in my feeling? When we are living outside of ourselves for another or living in the concept of another's perception to us, then we take a light away from us. We lose ourselves and we end up being really, really empty. What did you say, Addison? <sighs> oh, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm like, what are you talking about? Tacos. Tacos sound good. I haven't eaten dinner yet, so tacos sound good. Maybe I should order tacos. I don't know. I don't know. The only taco conversation that's coming to my mind is like for our oral, our oral intimacies class, but that's in March. That's not in January. So I'm not promoting that today. So do explain, call me later, text me later and say, Hey, this is what I meant by tacos. <laughs> no, I guess we're not tacos. We're not tacos. We're not easy to eat. We're not, we're not. It is just very interesting to witness and last night on the stage to watch these two bands that I was watching, one was dressed up as the and the other one was dressed up as Madonna, right? And I watched them and it was it was a who. It was funny. It was really, really funny. I mean, I was laughing. I was laughing and rolling my eyes and just going, you know, this is this is fun. But it was obnoxious. It was really obnoxious. There was nothing that was them. 
I didn't actually see their talent. I saw people struggling to have to be the talent of another. And they got lost in their struggle. They got lost in the shadow of the other people that they were mimicking, that they were, you know, trying to be like. And that's exactly what happens to us anytime we do this, is that we get lost in the shadow of another. We get lost in, you know, in the ideas and the belief structures of other people. And I can just tell you, I'm not going to make this horribly long conscious, conscious cocktail as it is tonight. But if you want this life, if you want to have the love in your life that you want, if you want to have the confidence in your life that you want, if you want to have the peace, the joy, the connection, the abundance, the success, you want to make the money that you want to make, you want to, you just want to fucking love your life, then you've got to get right with you. You've got to get right with you and you've got to get right with your power and who you are at your core, in your heart, in your soul, and let that be seen. And truly stop worrying about the too much or not enough because you're perfect. You're perfectly you. And like I said, if you're too much for somebody, they're not your peeps. And if you're not enough for somebody, guess what? You're not, they're not your peeps because both sides of that spectrum are going to judge you. And nine out of 10 people will probably judge you, but that's because they're only insecure with themselves because they themselves don't have happiness. They don't have joy. They feel disconnected. They don't know who the fuck they are. They don't know what they want. They're, they're picky. They're judging themselves and they see everything that they don't like about themselves in other people. So their self-criticism is coming out in other people and they're just have not figured it out. So they look at it and they point outward. So they're playing victim. They're playing victim to life. And I would like to think that the majority of the people that follow me, or at least some of the people that follow me, have figured out that we create our lives. We are investors of our life. We're not victims to our life. Our life unfolds as we think and feel about it. And that means that we, we are our own creators. So if we have a whole bunch of people in our life that are judging us and pointing our fingers and blaming and all that good stuff, guess the person in the mirror because we bring those people in and we feel like we're small, stupid, ugly, you know, not enough, too much, we're too this, we're too that. That's our thoughts coming back to us, manifesting out of somebody else's mouth. But when we start to change those thoughts about ourselves, and we start to feel differently about ourselves, and we fall in love with who we are, we start to just really love and enjoy. Guess what happens? We have absolutely fucking amazing things happen. I get a lot of bad publicity here and there. Go figure. Not everybody likes me. I'm too much for some and I'm not enough for others and make everybody happy. But I can tell you that the people that I really truly connect with, they are consistently affirming to me awesome, amazing stuff. But you know why? Because I'm some amazing stuff. So I encourage you, I encourage you that tonight before you go to bed, to take a moment and to go in front of a mirror in your house and, you know, just, just go to the bathroom, look in the mirror. And I want you to just make eye contact with yourself. And I want you to just state a few affirming, positive affirmation statements to yourself about your life, about who you are, about, you know, the things that you're doing. Like, let some brags out. Brag about yourself. What a concept. Every time I tell my clients, I want, I want what's a brag that you have to share with me? A lot of people just go, uncomfortable. Do you want me to brag? I want you to brag to yourself about yourself. I want you to tell yourself that you love yourself. I want you to smile and respect yourself, honor yourself for giving yourself some compassion, for giving yourself some love. Give yourself that smile. 
and know that you're worthy, that you're worthy of it. And the more you do something like that, the more you start feeding yourself the positive thoughts, the positive feelings, then you're just like, yeah, no, like I'm good. I'm like, I feel good. I'm, I am good about this. I'm really good at doing this. Wow, look at this in my life. Look at this in my life. When we really focus in on the positive shit in our life, we get so much affirmation and more of it brought back to us. And it's absolutely a beautiful, beautiful thing. And that is how you create that fuck yes life. It starts here. It starts right here. Not outside of us. It starts right here in us. And it starts with us learning how to love us. So take a moment tonight before you go to bed to give yourself just a little, just a little bit of TLC. So my holiday sale is over. There were a few people that took advantage of that. Ooh, ooh. More power to them because they're going to just rock on into 2020 and they saved a fortune on all of that good stuff. I don't have any specials out, so I'm not going to advertise anything today. There you go. No marketing for me. The sale is over and everything's back to its normal prices, so you could have saved, saved like $1,600, but you didn't. Or maybe you did. Who knows? Um, there will be some New Year's specials coming out. There are a massive amount of workshops already on the agenda for January. My local people, make sure that you click on the events tab at www.kendallwilliams.com. Go and look. There are write-ups that are coming out for a whole bunch of events. I've got some amazing events coming. Addison, Bell, and I have have partnered with Sarah Secrets and Condom Sense in our local area. So you're going to see a whole bunch of events that they are supporting for us. We're going to be doing panel talks with them. It's an amazing start to the new year to, to work with, with a company that has 22 local stores in the area and that is going to be supporting us. We're going to be their experts on their website. And it is definitely a very, very powerful event there. So bringing some education to hundreds, thousands, potentially more people in, in the local DFW, um, Texas area. So that is happening. Um, Addison has some beautiful events out also. You want to definitely go and check her stuff out. It's all on my website as well. She's got some beautiful Puja integration stuff coming up. I've got um, my Superwoman Success Secrets, which is an online program that is coming up. We've got a panel with Sarah Secrets coming up. We've got our Tantra Reboot, which we have been doing. I think this is our third or fourth year doing this. This is an amazing start to the new year. So local people, definitely jump on. Click on the link in the comments section and um, go and explore what is coming up see that January and February already have some stuff even though there's not write-ups for everything and ways to pay January February and March there's already a whole bunch of stuff posted for for both of our um, works on there our joint stuff and some of our solo stuff there's online stuff also so if you are following me and you are not local click on the link anyway and check out and see what is coming for online courses because I have some beautiful beautiful new courses for women for couples for men a whole bunch of really amazing stuff coming out in this new year so make sure that you kind of get a feel as to what's going on I'm also going to be relaunching my Tantric Practitioner, Holistic Practitioner training. Level one is going to be relaunching and it will be available. That will provide you with a whole bunch of content. We have already gone through it. I'm going to be going through it again and we will be ending in Costa Rica at the end of spring for a beautiful, beautiful retreat for everybody who makes it through that. So make sure that you go and check all of that out at KendallWilliams.com. I love you guys. I'm going to go enjoy my cocktail, make a little bit of dinner, finish up a little bit of work, and just chill out. Because guess what? This girl is off to Tahoe. Off to Tahoe in a couple days. And I've got a lot of work to do before I go to Tahoe. So I love you guys. I will catch you tomorrow with a real conscious coffee, probably like in the morning with actual coffee, not coffee-flavored um, martinis. Yeah, probably not that. So uh, we don't do that at 7 or 8 o'clock in the morning. But... Um, yeah, I'll catch you then. I love you guys. As always, stop existing, start living, realize that you really are truly worthy, and you are worthy of, worthy of the best amazing year, the year that not only transforms you and expands you, but really shows you the evidence of how fucking amazing you are. I love you guys. I'll catch you.